Hello and welcome to a new video of Appelbaum.com. My name is Joost Appelbaum and today I'm going to tell about the latest Montblanc Great Characters pen, which is dedicated to racing legend Enzo Ferrari. As always, if this video helps you, leave us a like and if you're interested in these beautiful writing instruments, visit our store in Lara or Boston or order them online in our web store at Appelbaum.com. We will talk later about the box the pen comes in, the features of the pen, the filling mechanism, and of course the nib. At the end we will also do a comparison and give you some specs, but first we start with the history and inspiration of the pen. Since the beginning of the 20th century, Montblanc has been a leader in the world of luxury. They make beautiful watches, high quality leather goods and of course, excellent writing instruments. Appelbaum has been an authorized dealer of Montblanc for more than 17 years. And you can order their entire current collection in our web store at Appelbaum.com. Montblanc is well known for their spectacular and often exclusive special and limited editions. One of these special edition series is the Great Characters Collection, which is dedicated to individuals who have broken new ground in the fields of culture, politics, science or the arts, and the impact of the legacy that they have left behind. Many of the more recent editions have been tribute to people from the entertainment industry, such as Miles Davis, The Beatles, James Dean, Walt Disney and Elvis Presley. This time Montblanc is taking the Great Characters edition in a completely different direction by honoring racing driver, engineer and entrepreneur Enzo Ferrari. Enzo Ferrari was born on the 18th of February of 1898 in the city of Modena, right in the middle of a snowstorm. This meant his father was unable to register the birth of his son, so the official date on his birth certificate is actually the 20th of February. His father had a workshop at their home, where he produced metal parts, so he started tinkering and engineering from a very young age. When he was 10 years old, he saw the Grand Prix on the Circuit de Bologna racetrack, which inspired him to become a racing driver himself. His plans got delayed by the outbreak of World War I. Ferrari started working as a test driver for a company. He soon got promoted to race driver and finished fourth in his first race. In 1920, Ferrari joined the racing department of Alfa Romeo and won his first Grand Prix in 1923. The year 1924 was his best season with three wins. Racing was quite a dangerous sport in that time, so his interest in racing declined by the time. Instead of racing, he worked on the development of the Alfa Romeo cars and by 1929 he had built a great team of racing drivers called Scheduria Ferrari. This is also when the emblem with the prancing horse was first added to the racing cars. Once Ferrari's son was born in 1932, he decided to quit racing entirely and focus only on management and construction. By then, he had raced in 41 Grand Prix races, of which he had won 11. In the years leading to the Second World War, it became more difficult to find funding for racing. The Scuderia Ferrari racing team was dissolved in 1937 and Ferrari himself became the sporting director at Alfa Romeo. In 1939, Ferrari left Alfa and started a company of his own. That supplied car parts for other racing teams. When World War II broke out, Ferrari's factory was put to work on behalf of the Mussolini government. Once the war was over, Ferrari decided to build its own race cars and founded the Ferrari company we still know and love. His team began racing in 1948 and the first victory came a year later. Racing was very expensive, so Ferrari started to build and sell high-performance sports cars to cover the racing bills. In the 50s and 60s, Ferrari was very successful in both the Grand Prix racing as well as the famous Le Mans races. 
The success was, however, accompanied by financial problems, scandals, deadly accidents, and personal tragedy, including the death of Ferrari's son, Alfredo Ferrari, who was best known as Dino Ferrari. By the end of the 60s, Ferrari was no longer able to meet his financial obligations and started looking for a business partner, which he founded in Fiat. The Fiat company got use of the production plants in Maranello and Modena, and Ferrari stayed in charge of all the racing activities. The 70s and 80s were a very successful time for Ferrari car sales, but at the same time a great struggle for its racing division. Results were particularly bad in the 80s, when Ferrari didn't manage to produce a winning driver at all and only managed to win the Constructors' Championship twice. Sadly, Enzo Ferrari didn't live to see the Ferrari revival of the late 90s and the 2000s, when Michael Schumacher and the Ferrari team won both the Drivers' Championship and the Constructors' Championship for years in a row. He passed away in 1988 when he was 90 years old. Interestingly, his death was not made public until two days later. Ferrari himself had requested this to compensate for the two days delay with the registration of his birth. The Mont Blanc Ferrari Special Edition pen comes in a luxury square gift box. The box is covered by a cardan sleeve with a print of Enzo Ferrari behind the wheel. At the bottom of the picture is the signature of Ferrari and at the right top corner the Mont Blanc emblem can be found. The actual gift box has the same print on it but in red. The inside of the box is covered with white soft velvet, so the pen will not get any scratches. The pen rests in a slit. The Mont Blanc logo is printed on the inside of the cover. Inside the carton sleeve there is also a booklet with information about the pen and the warranty certificate. The Enzo Ferrari Special Edition pen is of course red. In the early years of racing, cars were painted in the racing colors of their country. French cars were painted in blue, the France British cars in British, racing green and Italy chose Rosso Corsa, meaning racing red. The reason Italy chose the red color was that in 1907 the Italian prince Cipona Borghese had won the Peking to Paris race. Just imagine, this is only a few years after the invention of the car, meaning there were no roads, no gas stations and no garages. The trip was 15,000 kilometers or nearly 10,000 miles and led across two continents. This meant drivers had to bring their own mechanics with them and convoys of camels were dispatched from Peking to supply fuel along the route. In honor of the incredible achievement of Cipiona, winning this race, Italy chose the color of Cipiona's car as its racing color. Ferrari has always been synonymous with red and still is. Over the years these have been different shades of red, such as the special color Rosso 70 Anni, which is a special red color developed when the Scuderia Ferrari celebrated its 17th birthday. This particular shade of red was the inspiration for the resin of the Enzo Ferrari pen. The Enzo Ferrari is made of Mont Blanc's famous precious resin combined with metal parts. The Mont Blanc logo at the top of the cap is quite unique. This time we do not see a resin or mother of pearl emblem, but an artistic metal grid that forms the logo on top of a yellow surface. The best part of the Mont Blanc special edition pens are of course the references. We already told you where the red color comes from, but let's see what the other details are there on the pen. If we look down on the pen, we can recognize the shape of a classic race car from the olden days, with a setting of the clip as the cockpit. Where the clip is connected, we count 12 notches, six on each side, a reference to Ferrari's famous V12 engine. At the other end of the clip, we see the cooling vents of the engine. On the clip itself, we can read the words You cannot describe passion, you can only live it, which is a quote from Enzo Ferrari. Opposite the clip, we find the Cavallano Rampante, the prancing stallion emblem, along with the words Le Portera Fortuna, 
meaning a symbol of good luck. The emblem was created by an Italian fighter plane pilot named Francesco Baracca, who was shot down and killed in World War I. In 1923, Enzo Ferrari won a race at the Zavio track in Ravenna, where he met Countess Paolina, the mother of Count Francesco Baracca. The Countess asked Enzo to use Baracca's horse on his cars, suggesting that it would be a symbol of good luck. The original horse on Baraka's airplane was painted in red, but Ferrari chose to have the horse in black in tribute to his death. To give even more symbolic meaning to the emblem, he combined the image of the horse with a yellow background, the color of his own bird town, Modena. We can see the yellow color right here at the top, covered by a beautiful grid work that reminds us of the spokes of the early racing cars. In the middle of the wheel, we can clearly recognize the Mont Blanc logo. Around the cab, we find the name Officina Meccanica Alfredo Ferrari, a reference to the workshop of Enzo Ferrari's father, where his passion for engineering all began. In the metal part of the vinyl, we see two dates, the date of Ferrari's birth and the date of his first racing victory. The last reference on the Enzo Ferrari Special Edition fountain pen can be found on the beautiful 14 karat gold nib, which is engraved with the steering wheel of the famous Ferrari 250 GTO and the word Pilota, the Italian word for driver, which was one of the nicknames of Enzo Ferrari. Since we are an official Mont Blanc dealer, we can offer the pen in all nib whites, including the specialty nibs like the oblique broad, oblique medium nibs. The pen uses a piston filling mechanism. The Mont Blanc Great Characters Enzo Ferrari Special Edition Founder Pen weighs 52 grams capped and 30 grams uncapped. To compare the size of the pen, here you see a lineup with the Mont Blanc 149, the Mont Blanc 146, the Mont Blanc 145, the Mont Blanc Great Characters Enzo Ferrari, the Mont Blanc Great Characters Elvis Presley, the Mont Blanc Starwalker, and the Mont Blanc Great Characters JFK. And here is a few of the pens uncapped. This concludes our overview of the Mont Blanc Great Characters Enzo Ferrari Special Edition. If you're interested in this beautiful writing instrument after watching the video, you're welcome to make your purchase in our web store. Let us know about your experience with Mont Blanc pens or a Ferrari car by sharing your thoughts and special moments using a Mont Blanc or a Ferrari in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.